Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday. So it is weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my week, set some goals for next week and go over the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh-in video every single Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend having your macros and calories done. This is how I've been able to lose 140 pounds and keep the weight off. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to answer your questions or if you want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump into my weigh-in and you're going to be surprised as well as the WW workshop topic and how my week went. Friday friends. I hope you had an absolutely amazing week. I hope you had a fantastic 4th of July. We had a pretty low key 4th of July. We actually ordered pizza. I made my favorite dessert pizza. I actually shared the recipe over on my Facebook group. So again, if you're not part of my Facebook group, we'd love to have you come join us over there. It's free. It's supportive. It's a great community to join. We also did some chips, salsa, and guac and just had a really relaxing evening at home. I made Troy pick up some sparklers because I love a good sparkler. So we did those. It was just truly a really good 4th of July. What actually kind of put the cherry on top for me on the 4th is I went and hiked Tumamock Mountain with my friend Lisa bright and early 5 a.m. 4th of July morning, which really just set my day off on a great foot. I had over 7,000 steps when I got home and 65 active minutes. Speaking of hiking and exercise, I had a really big NSV or super high this week. I was able to go back to boot camp for the first time since cosmetic surgery. I went back to boot camp on Monday. Now I will say right off the bat, I thought I was going to die. I, as I was driving there in the morning, I'm like, this is going to be real hard and I'm going to be real miserable. And honestly, I think all of the walking that I've been doing and the hiking up the mountain that I've been doing pretty regularly set me up for success because I actually was able to make it through boot camp just fine with a lot and I mean a lot of modifications. I had to do a lot of modifying things down. I'm not able to do burpees, mountain climbers, bear crawls, things like that quite yet. I was able to do push-ups. I could do a plank. I couldn't do a walkout plank. I could walk out, but I couldn't walk in. It was just kind of pulling on my incision. So I just made all the modifications that I needed to make. I lowered my weights from 10 pounds to five pounds, but I still got an absolutely incredible workout. So I ended up going to boot camp Monday, Wednesday, and this morning. So I got in a ton and I mean a ton of activity. And with that being said, I am sore, 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 sore. I'm so sore. My legs are sore. My arms are sore. Everything is sore. And that's just from getting back into a regular exercise routine after taking several weeks off. In fact, I was telling my friend Lisa when we were hiking the mountain, a simple four or five weeks off of exercising, I can't believe how much number one endurance I lost, how much lean muscle and muscle capability I lost. I actually had to lower my weights a lot and I'm just going to build them back up. And I understand that that's just naturally what's going to happen. That's just part of having a procedure or being out of commission of working out for a while. It's just interesting how hard you have to work to get it for it to go away so quickly. But I'm just really relieved that I'm back to my normal self, that I'm able to go to boot camp, I'm able to hike, I'm able to just be in the moment and really get back to exercising the way that I want to for my body, which again just helps get me closer to my fitness goals. So I would say my week was literally fantastic. My best friend, her roommate and her daughter came in yesterday and they're going to be spending the weekend here with me in Arizona. I'm sure I'll be posting pictures on Instagram and in my Facebook group. So again, come join me over there. I think today we're going to go shopping at the premium outlet malls. It's real hot here. It's well over 110. So our time outdoors will probably be limited. We definitely want to hike to Mamak while they're here. So I'm going to be really, really active and I'm going to enjoy my friends being in town, which means probably not really tracking my food, but just being mindful of what I'm 
eating. Once they're gone, I'll kind of be back to normal life. But as I always say, when I go on vacation or have friends visit or have events, I just live my life. I don't worry about every little bite that I'm eating because nobody gained weight at one little party or one little event or one little vacation. So I'm just going to enjoy my time with my friends, be as active as possible, drink my water because it's so hot here, and just be in my normal routine as much as possible. Before I jump into my weigh-in, because this is a really, really interesting weigh-in, I mean, you're not going to want to miss the weigh-in. I first want to chat with you about this week's workshop topic from Weight Watchers, and that's how the past can set you up for future successes. I get asked all the time, how did you lose the weight? How do you stay motivated? What would be your biggest tip? I really wish that I could give you all of the information so that you can reach the same goal that I did, but it's really, truly so individual, and it's a lot of it is based on what we've done in the past, which leads to our future success or lack of success. There are some things that you can do, though, to be that person, to be the one that can go, here's how I got to goal or here's how I reached my goals. Here's how you can do it too. First, let's talk about successes. Think back to the past month or months and reflect on your successes. I started a new activity routine. First, how did you make it happen? You cut back on TV to go to bed earlier so you can walk before work. How are the changes helping you? I now have more energy and flexibility in my budget. Now think about some setbacks. I tend to go over budget on nights out. Really what's getting in your way? It's hard to navigate so many high point options. How could you alter your approach? Maybe you plan to save your weekly points and pre-track your order. Now look ahead to a goal that you want to achieve in the next month or so. Maybe it's meal prepping low point lunches. What obstacles might you face? Maybe it's a lack of time. Or how will you feel if you succeed? You'll be proud and glad that you have extra points for those nights out. Move forward by taking one specific step towards that goal this week. For you, maybe it's rethinking how you'll spend time so you can fit in meal planning and meal prepping. You guys know I always say that me, someone who's meal prepped, from the beginning of my weight loss journey has really been a big contributing factor to my success. I always have healthy foods on hand, so it's easy for me to grab an on-the-go breakfast, lunch, snack. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat. I don't have to hit up my local drive through restaurant. Just taking that little bit of time every week has definitely been a big factor in success for me, and I know that a lot of you who plan ahead in meal prep have been really successful with that aspect as well. Our journey doesn't come with an exact roadmap. I mean, it's gonna hit lumps, it's gonna hit bumps, and it's gonna have to deviate all the time. I mean, all the time. Life happens pretty much daily. So you have to figure out how to navigate that to be successful. Reflecting on the nitty gritty of your accomplishments and your setbacks, figuring out what those were and making those changes, that's what's going to propel you forward. That's the magic ticket. That's the magic piece of advice that you can share when someone says, how did you reach your weight loss goal? How do you keep the weight off? How do you stay motivated? That's what you can share. You deep dive into the nitty gritty of what works and what doesn't, and you set yourself up for success. Our past is the biggest indicator of our future success. What we did in the past that didn't work is probably not going to work in the future. And what we did in the past that did work is probably what we need to lean on and use as a resource for future successes. So I really like this topic. I think it's something that we all we need to remember and we need to reflect on. I'm constantly thinking back what worked, what didn't work, what can I do better? And that's really what has kept me motivated and propelled me to reach my 140 pound weight loss. So I enjoy, I really like this topic. I think it's something we really, really need to focus on throughout our entire journey. Speaking of journey, speaking of weight loss, let's talk about my weigh-in. So I've been sharing with you guys over the past several weeks post-op that my weight has steadily been going down. And I wasn't happy about it. I wasn't happy about it because it's not fat. I don't have excess fat to lose. Maybe a little bit, maybe a few pounds of excess fat. But really what was bothersome to me is that I was losing my lean muscle after I spent so long building that lean muscle. So I didn't like seeing the scale go down. I also mentioned several times that as soon as I got back to a normal exercise routine, I can bet the scale is going to go right back up again. And you know, I'm back to my normal exercise. I'm super sore. I've been working out a lot. And as predicted, guess what happened? The scale went right back up. So I actually hit my lowest weight post-op, back to working out, back to being sore. My weight has done a lot of fluctuation this week. I mean, a lot, pounds. Pounds overnight, my weight has fluctuated this week. A lot of that's just because of the soreness. When we break our muscles down, they become inflamed, they retain fluid so that they can rebuild. So I actually had quite a big weight gain this week, quite a big weight gain. And I don't want to even say weight. It could, I want to call it maybe a weight fluctuation or a muscle gain, which nobody's ever mad about, but I actually gained three pounds this week. 
Not one, not two, but three. So I'm pretty much right back to where I like to be. Right between that 185 to 190 pound mark is where I really feel like my body thrives. And that three pounds of weight gain is probably a fluctuation. It may stick around because I'm consistently sore now, I'm consistently working out. And really truly, I'm not mad about a three pound weight gain at all. I feel like I'm getting back to my normal fit, healthy self. I feel like I can flex and start seeing muscle already, which is amazing. Whew, I'm sore. I'm still sore. That kind of hurt a little bit, but I feel like all of this soreness and getting back to my regular exercise routine is what contributed to that three pound gain. And I'm truly not mad about it. I will go ahead and put up here on the screen, my total weight loss, as well as my current weight. And like I said, I'm happy to be back to my normal weight again because I know that my body is readjusting to working out. I know that my lean muscle is slowly but surely coming back on my body. And to be honest with you, even though I'm three pounds heavier, I feel lighter, leaner, and healthier than I did even last week being three pounds lighter. This is why I always say don't just rely on the scale. Focus on measurements. Focus on how your body feels. Focus on strength training and lifting weights and building lean muscle because that's what's going to help you sustain your weight loss. So I'm not mad about a three pound weight gain at all. I know as weird as that might sound. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think about this? Your past indicates your future successes. Let me know everything down in the comments. And if you enjoyed another weigh in video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Make sure you join my Facebook group. Follow me over on Instagram. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. Those are both down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday. Happy weekend, and I'll see you in my grocery haul. Bye!